Hey everybody, Brett from Stardust Gaming here, back with another episode of our Expeditions Viking Let's Play. So in the last episode, we were sort of wandering on, around the forest for a while, looking for a tree to build our ship with, as well as uh, tracking down a group of bandits, or whatever they were, who were pulled up in our forest in some sort of camp. Um, they wouldn't really give us a straightforward answer as to why they were there, but after we... Uh, Killed them, we took a bunch of loot from them, and now we're headed back to Torfin, the shipbuilder, to choose a name for our ship, and then we're going to move on to another quest, I believe. So let's, uh, oh, too far, or not far enough. Let's move on over here, and we'll talk to him in just a second. Before we do that, though, I'd like to remind you guys to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series so far and you'd like to see more. And don't forget to subscribe as well, it's the best way to help the channel grow, and the best way to follow along with the series as it plays out. Ho oh, there, I've sent Sonny and... Megan Bjorn, who's uh, standing right next to you, actually, out to the forest to harvest the timber you chose for the ship. All that's left is to name it. All right, let's name it. So we get to type whatever we want here. I'm going to call mine the uh, Akapete. That is the name of one of the harpies from Greek mythology. Um, I think it's a cool name for a ship, so we're going to go with that. Not a bad name, Akapete. I'll let Rurik know. Maybe he'll be able to carve some decorations to match. I don't know that they would know what a, a harpy is, but okay. Um, five skill points across the board. I wonder if we could make use of those. Ten, seven, six. No, we're pretty low. I just leveled everybody up, so I don't think we really have the ability to do much here. Um, right, so next quest. Now that that one's done, we're going to do Tomb Raider. We're going to talk to Adis about the gravesite. Okay, is she around here? Uh, she is, okay. Cool, so we don't even need to go to a different map. We can stick on this one and uh, see what this, you know, tomb of treasure is all about. Oh, it's a he. I, Adis, I thought, was female for some reason. I don't know why. I wonder why me and Aslaf are so far ahead of everybody else. Okay, let's see here. You find Adis next to... Oh, it is a her. Okay. Next to her farmhouse, holding a headless hen in one hand and a knife in the other. The ground around her is covered in feathers. Ho oh, there, what brings you kids out here? Don't tell me Rag and Vague's so sow chose this moment to give birth. I feel like I'm missing some important context here. Silly sow is ready to give birth any day now. Promised Rag and Vague I'd lend a hand. Is that like Ran, Ranvig? I think it is. I think the G is silent. I think it's Ranvig. I'll lend a hand when it happens. Only I'm in the middle of plucking a hen for dinner. Anyway, what brings you out here if not for the sow? I want to ask you about one of the stories you told when we were children. She smiles wistfully, brushing a few wayward feathers off her apron. Ah, I've been so long. I hope I can remember. What do you need to know? You told us of a gravesite in a hill once where an ancient king was buried with all his treasure. You recognize the gleam in Adis' eyes from your childhood. That story, yes. They said the tomb was protected by dwarves or elves or other such underground creatures, that horrible vengeance would befall any who dared to breach its sanctity. Hmm. Do you know if the tomb is real? I've seen it myself. Traveled through there with Alvard, or Alvald when we had just married on our way here to start our family. Spent a night in a small hamlet at the base of the hill where I heard of the treasure and the creatures that protect it. Why are you asking about this now? I'm preparing an expedition. I need treasure that I can trade for supplies. She looks intrigued. Where goes this journey? The isles across the sea. The story tells of unprotected coasts and great riches. I now have additional questions, okay? The woman finally puts down the chicken. She wipes her hands on her apron. Tell you what, let me come with you to the grave. Be easier if I simply show you the way. What about your sons? They're old enough to look after the farm in my absence, and they've got their aunt and granduncle to help them if there's trouble. I assume you know how to defend yourself? I have little training, if that's what you mean, but I'm no frail old lady, and as you certainly don't look it. Alfold left a hamlet in the shield a helmet and a shield for his sons, but they fit me just as well. I'll bring an axe. I think that'll cover it. If you wish to join, you're welcome to. Great. 
meet you at the edge of the village when it's time to leave. For now, though, let's really finish this hand. Well, I hope you finish it quick, because I'm leaving right now. Okay, where's the closest? There it is. <clears throat> so where are we headed? Um, let's see. Is that it right there? Marsh campsite. Uh, I don't see a marker. Let's make sure this is... It is, okay. Travel east to the small hamlet to search for ancient the ancient grave. Okay, so it is marked. Where might it be? It said east. I'm not seeing anything east. Do we have to, like, literally find it? To the small hamlet. Okay, is there anything marked small hamlet? No. I can't just move anywhere. Marsh campsite. Yeah, it won't just let me travel to a random area, so I'm not sure if this quest is doable yet. Hmm. Well, that's east. Let's head there. What is this? Sunrise? Okay. High security. Very high security. Do we have to clear those, or what's the deal with that? Let's find out. So, who's going to come with us? We'll bring Roskva to heal, Asleif definitely, and then we have Gunnar or Adis, Berserker or Brawler. Um, hmm. I'm, I want to see what Adis is all about, so we'll leave Gunnar. So, it looks like we're immediately into combat here. Um, where's the enemy at? They're pretty far away. We've got, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy looks like he... Okay, he's a brawler. No weapons, apparently. Uh, we've got a bannerman with a shield. A scald with a dagger who can heal people. A defender who's just like a longbowman. And then uh, we've got another scald who can also heal people. And an untrained civilian who's probably not much of a threat, but probably best not to... Uh, Probably not best to underestimate her. Um, how do I want to do this? I think we want to fight in this area here, maybe that area there, and we can put our archers behind this rock. So, let's let them come to us a bit. We're going to move our guys over here. There's Asleif. Let's get him up to about there. I'll put her... Let's see. Oh, you don't have a shield? Too late now. If I had known she didn't have a shield, I probably would have reconsidered. At least uh, Gunnar has an extra weapon in his offhand. Let's see, I'm going to put Kettle up there. I'll let him take a shot at somebody. I don't know if he's going to be able to hit at this distance, but it's, it's worth a try. Yeah, I'll put an arrow on him. Cool, so we hit... Hopefully, uh, they waste a turn trying to heal him. And, okay, we'll move Nephia over there. And, finally, our healer can move up to here. I wonder if she's got a shot on anybody. Sure, let's try it. Really have nothing to lose, so... We'll let one fly. So what are they going to do? That's the question. Hopefully their archers don't have much accuracy. Uh, they only really have, it looked like, what, one? He's got a spear. Oh, no, got a bow too. Probably not very good with it, though, if it's his secondary weapon. Here comes the brawler. He's going to run away from the healers, so he's going to go down fairly early here. She also has a bow. Uh, looks like she missed, but it did harry one of our guys. And here's the real threat, the longbowman. And that looked like it missed, but uh, we couldn't quite tell with the way the camera went there. Okay, so did that miss? Yeah, everybody's got full health as far as I can tell. So where do we want to fight? Probably right about here. That looks good, so we'll move up to that spot. Let's go ahead and uh, ready ourselves. We'll put Asleif right next to us. I think we'll go right there. And we'll go ahead and uh, 
ready him as well. Let's put her Adis, that is uh, in the gap there. That looks pretty good. And then I think we'll put Nephia right here. She's got cover behind that rock. And we'll move her as needed. Kettle can move behind this log here and still have plenty of cover. I think we'll put an arrow on him. And then I'm hoping that Roskva can finish this guy off. So I'm going to move her to about there. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much a sure thing. Unless, of course, she misses. And then we're going to get her behind cover. So hopefully he decides to engage or something. I don't want them to heal him now that he's nearly dead. He's going to engage us and get stabbed in the shield. She's going to move up and heal him. No, she's not. She's going to engage us. That is the civilian, I believe, so. Yeah, she's going to go down pretty quickly. What's he going to do? He's going to engage us as well. He's going to punch us in the shield. Not a big deal. Their healers slash archers are going to kind of hang back here. They've only got shots on our guys with shields because everybody else is behind cover. And what are you going to do? Probably the same thing. Take a shot at him. Ooh, that got through. And then finally we've got one last longbowman slash healer who can't do anything. Okay, so let's see. You could finish that one off, or potentially that one. Um, who's the bigger threat? Let's see, 28 damage versus 10 to 13, so this one definitely. Uh, go ahead and finish him off then. And then you can start engaging this lady. That was pretty pathetic. But you can go ahead and finish her off, so that works out. Over here, maybe I should recover my shield. Hmm, that's a tough one. What can you do for me? That's a pretty good hit right there. Could also potentially drop this one. That would be pretty useful. The question is, would she be able to finish them if I started it? Let's try it. Oh, I should have gone uh, aimed right there. I guess it doesn't matter. He hit either way. Now let's send her around to this side. And, oh, it's so close. Well, go ahead and try it. If anything, they'll have to waste... Uh... Perfect, so we got the crit. Nice. And get back behind cover. Alright. So has everybody attacked? Everybody except Avon has. Let's see. Heavy swing. Ready. Uh, your shield's still pretty high. I don't think we're going to have much luck on that one. What should we do? I'm going to brace. We're going to go on the defensive here because we've got a lot of people that are freed up to move on the next turn. So what are you going to do? You're going to move up and what, point blank my healer? No, you're going to fire into my front line for some reason. Okay, so they're continuing to target Avon. Hopefully he doesn't go down here. Oh, we blocked it. Nice. All right. Can you move up to here for me? Perfect. Let's start engaging this guy. So he blocked that, but it basically took up his whole block. Uh, meanwhile... I think I'm going to put you on the archer over here. And let's see. Oh, that was a poor movement choice on my part because if she'd gone there, she could have attacked. But right here, she can't. So yeah, I messed that one up. Let's get you over here. Go ahead and stab him with that spear. Nice. So now the question is... Hmm. 
Let's see. Aimed shot. It's not really going to matter, so we'll go there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, what can you do? You have quick shot, so why don't you go ahead and use it? There's a miss. Hopefully we hit on this one. I was hoping we'd hit both. Oh, wow. That was pretty pathetic. And let's see. Can you... I guess just attack. I wonder why his attack is so low. I mean, it's definitely part in part because of his strength. But he has a really, really good weapon. He has the best sword of anybody in the party right now. And it says he should do 40 to 46 damage. But he's only doing like 15 to 25. So I'm not entirely sure why that is. Is this guy trying to flee? We're not going to let him get away. Oh, we blocked it. Nice. He's going to go after Azlaif, which is perfect, because that lets him survive another turn. Which he may have anyways, but, you know, we don't know that for sure. Let's see. Yeah. Go ahead and get that started. We'll let Avin finish it. Oh, he's already down. Okay. In that case, Azlaif, move over here. Get this started. And what can you do for me, Adis? Not a whole lot. Let's go ahead and do it anyways. And then Avon will move down. We'll lock up this guy into melee. You are a terrible shot. But go ahead and put an arrow on him. And then if you could finish him off, that'd be great. Let's aim shot this to make sure it hits. Okay, so it didn't matter that we got him in melee. And why don't you go over there? Alright, last turn for the enemy. We're going to stab Adis and then we're going to finish this off. Uh, I'll give it to Azleif. Okay, so there's that. Nobody down, no new injuries. That's always nice. Oh, so we can actually camp here. That's interesting. Um, let's auto-assign. Let's see what they do. And we'll make camp. Okay, so Kettle returns from hunting successfully. Oh, I didn't get to see that. Uh, camping results, we gained seven rations, five, oh, we lost five meat. Gained three medicine and lost three herbs. And zero of our herdmen went hungry. That's always nice. Okay, so... That was cool, but that doesn't really help us out here, does it? We still need to find this place, which I don't think we can necessarily find. Unless it's this place? That must be it. So we'll head there. I mean, I, I can't imagine where else it would be. So let's see. We're going to bring... Uh, who can we afford to keep out? I guess we'll leave Gunnar out, Gunnar out again. We'll bring Adis. I wish we had a shield to give her. Actually, cancel that. Um, if we go to inventory, I think somebody has an extra shield. Oh, damn it. I need to... Um, I need to do this, I think. Kettle stops ahead of the group and looks into the distance. Toward a hill silhouetted against the sky. Oh, that was that wasn't a period. Whoops. <laughs> that must be it. The stones fit Adis's description. Well, we're leaving her behind. I was gonna give her the shield that was in Gunnar's inventory, but we brought Gunnar instead, so whatever. Then the Hamlet must be down the road. Let's see what the place has in store for us. Okay. So let's move along this way. And is there anything lootable? I don't see anything. The objective is up here. We probably should have rested before we went for this because uh, our couple of our guys are fatigued. Is there anybody around? There is people. Okay. Nothing there. Anything in these? Tripwires. Nice. I'll take that. 
What else do we got? I'll grab it because I don't know if we'll need it. A couple people that are uh, hanging about, but we can't talk to them, so let's just keep moving. Our goal is all the way up here. Optional is visit the small hamlet. What am I supposed to do in the small hamlet? Let's see. Farmhouse, hamlet. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we're supposed to go... Oh, right here. Let's talk to Oddkel. The man who meets you as you enter the hamlet is dressed in the plain clothes of a farmer, but a tangled web of talismans around his neck indicate his position in the community. His demeanor is polite but cautious. Well met, warriors. I'm Oddkel the Godi. I think that's right. Godi? Godi? I'm gonna go with Godi. What errand brings you through our small village? Hmm. We're here to visit the grave up on that hill. Ah, indeed, then I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but that grave is closed under my protection and that of our community. This is a dark place where an ancient king lies buried, and the underground ones guard his treasure jealously. Who are the underground ones? Those creatures who live beneath the earth, dwarves, elves, the spirit of the ancestors, those who enter the grave are never seen again. What can be done to gain the favor of such creatures? He smiles purely out of politeness. For what purpose? Um, that we may be, that we may be brought luck on the long voyage. His gaze is vacant in a way that makes you think you might have given him any reason, and his answer would be the same. A noble cause, worthy of our aid, however. The powers that dwell in that place are not benevolent. Such a thing requires sacrifice. Name your price. I don't ask for treasure. My purpose is purely to maintain peaceful relations between the mortals and the underground ones. The underground ones require a life, a human life. Will thralls do? Of course, although the life of a thrall is not as valuable as the life of a free man. In such a case, three lives may be required. Hmm. Okay, well... I guess I'll make the arrangement. Like, I don't want to sacrifice... Who would we find to do it? I don't know. That's, that is a steep price, but... I'll make the arrangements, I guess. He smiles again, and the gleam in his eye tells you it's sincere. Very good, I shall gather the most, faith, the most faithful and prepare the altar. Bring your sacrifice to the pond in the forest, near where you arrive. We'll meet you there. <clears throat> optional sacrifice one free man or woman or three thralls in the glade so we might be able to get in without doing this I think that's what we're going to do <clears throat> we'll be like yeah sure we're going to play along and nope nope we're just going to hop on in the old fashioned way we're going to Skyrim this bitch <clears throat> evil spirits be damned we're going in Four people, three men and a woman, stand on either side of the entrance to the passage grave, chatting casually with one another. As if the concept of full-time guards to protect a burial mound in the middle of nowhere isn't unusual enough, they all appear to be uncommonly well-armed. All the guards draw their weapons when you approach the big stone slab that blocks the entrance to the grave. The woman speaks. Well met. What's your business? Hmm. Let's see. Finesse, perception... Since, uh, we could potentially get the drop on them. Against whom do you guard this entrance? She shrugs, a casual gesture, but her eyes are darting between you and your herdmen. Against everyone who doesn't have permission to enter. Um, hmm, quick stab. We succeeded. You take a few steps closer and she tenses up visibly. You wave your left hand in a casual gesture and while her eyes are on that hand, you bring your knife up in your right. Stab. Stab, stab, stab. Okay, so looks like we dealt with her. We've got a couple other others to deal with. The knife slides into her neck right above her mail and her face contorts into a grimace of shock and horror. The horrified cries from the other guards fill the night as you pull your knife back out through her throat and blood gushes from the wound. 
All right, we're in combat. Um, untrained hunter right there. Untrained warrior and a healer. So we need to get on that healer like right away. Wow, we are really far away from our companions, aren't we? I'm gonna take two attacks of opportunity if I move there. So I'm gonna get on to the archer, I guess. I don't know if I can solo this guy or not, but we'll certainly try. <clears throat> See, our attack damage is, is not very great. Okay, so... Asleif, go ahead and engage that guy. So he blocked it. Uh, let's put you over there to help out with him. Hopefully he doesn't block this as well. Nice, we got through that time. Okay. Gunnar. I think we'll throw Gunnar on the healer just so... Actually, should I move him here? He's going to be the best at dealing with the shield, so I think I might do that. And since we don't really need to worry about enemy archers at this point, I think we'll just put Kettle somewhere where he can attack whoever he needs to. Might be worth going after that guy. Yeah, let's go for it. And we missed. Of course. Okay, let's get you over here. And you're going to start shooting at the enemy healer. And you're going to miss horribly as well. Okay, so he's going to attack Gunnar, of course. Attack the one guy who's super squishy. What are you going to do? You're going to step back. So you do have a bow. Good to know. Um, we're going to block that. That's nice. Keep stabbing away at this guy. We should be able to solo him. Let's, uh, let's hope we can get through over here. We're going to shield hook him first. <clears throat> so he's exposed now. And we'll use that to our advantage here. Pile up as much damage on him as we can. He's got some pretty good armor, though. Good thing we dealt with her before this battle started, because things could have gotten really ugly here. Um, that would finish him more than likely. Could you finish him? No. That's tough. Let's try to get rid of him. And he's not down. Okay. Can you finish him, then? Please, please, please. Nice. So he's he's gone. We'll move uh, Gunnar. Actually, we'll do Azleif because Azleif is a little bit tankier. We'll put him on. Is it a he or a her? I think it's a he. Okay. You can move over there to help out. Uh, let's put you right there. We'll put you here. And you can move over there or something. I don't know. <clears throat> a little bit of damage there, nothing too bad. Some more damage over here as well. Again, nothing too bad. Now, he has an ability where I can move through people's attack zones without attacks of opportunity so long as I don't back out of them. So we're going to shift over and make some room for Gunnar. And then as soon as that animation ends, we're going to send Gunnar in next to him and let him start chipping away. Oh, wow. One hit and that guy is down. Go ahead and start softening up the healer, I guess. I should have done a aim shot there. That was a terrible decision on my part. I keep forgetting to do that. Protect. No. We'll just we'll just go all in here. No reason not to. Okay, and let's see. I'm actually going to go for a quick shot here because it could potentially finish this fight. She's not going to be able to do it with one, but she might with two, although she's not going to hit with either, from the look of it. Yep, saw that coming. Okay, Kettle move over. Uh, you guys can move too, not that it's going to matter. But we'll get them started in this direction, just in case anything happens. And he's going to stab his shield for little to no effect, and yeah, go ahead and finish him off. Cool, so no new injuries, nobody down. That's what we like to see. Any decent loot? Nothing. I was hoping we'd get some armor drops. Nothing there. Can't loot her. How about this guy who's still, like, 
moving around now. That kind of sucks. Oh well. Let's go inside. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we're out of time. So we're going to break off the episode here, and we will continue this uh, quest in the next episode. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Expeditions Viking with you, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.